What up, though? How y'all doing? We're going to get it going. We're going to continue on with this young boy situation. Good elderberry tea. All right. We're going to dive back into this a little bit. We're going we're gonna to break it down. Now, it's supposed to be video, a footage of when the officer was actually doing a perimeter on young boy. Now, this one of my little, this one of the YouTubers that I rock with. So, I'm a, uh, you know, he usually got everything. He usually up to date with everything. So, I'm a, uh, you know, go to his page for it. OTC Live, y'all mess with him. Okay, let's see what he got. What he has. Don't like that boy. Off top. See what he got to say about it. <laughs> so look check it out now if y'all know uh otc live you know he always had like videos on the side of his videos but you know it kind of looked like young boy uh was actually on live or something like watching them come at them but anyway so y'all see a little bit of the perimeter you know that i was talking about in the last video like they had the helicopters you know they had the police car they, you know they said they're gonna stick the dogs on them so I was thinking, okay, if he ran, he probably had something on him that he wanted to dump, get rid of, because if he, if he was uh in the car and they saw him get out the car, whatever he left in there is going to be on him. So I guess the gun was in there, what they saying. But I guess he had to get up out of there. So that only makes sense to me if he had something on him that he, uh, that really was, you know, probably that's worse than a gun. Unless he had more guns on him, he, he kind of left that one by back, you know. Or maybe that one in the car is registered to somebody. It's legal. And maybe he has some dirty guns on him or something or some drugs or something. But anyway, he got out and ran, allegedly. Now, we didn't see this. This is what they're telling us. So, this is another thing we got to be mindful of. Everything that the news or the media or whatever it tell you, it ain't it ain't so until you know for sure it's so. They be doing so much type of trickery and crazy stuff with the with the news and people that you think is should be reliable. Depends on their agenda. It might be something different. So, far as we know, allegedly, he got out of ran. I mean, we don't know what folks, we know they saying there's a warrant, he had a gun in there, but, you know, like, I mean, maybe he was just going to go on a run. Maybe he say, okay, they know it's me, they know what they got. You know, like Whitey Bolger, maybe he's about to go on a run. Who knows? Anyway, that's what they saying. That's what they claiming, that he got out of ran. Now, check this. It's, um... Kind of weird that they had the helicopter out there, you know, that quick. I, well, I don't know how soon they had it out there, but if they had it out there that quick, 
You know, they really was on him, like, really tracking him, like, somebody had to give him up. Or were they following him, and he went and did something illegal? They didn't mention that. They didn't say, like, we was, we was trailing him, tracking him, and he went to go cop some, some drugs or distribute nothing. You know, none of that is in a, what they're reporting. They're just saying it was a stop for a warrant. How they know it was him in the car, or how they know, like, to run his plate, I don't know. You know, um, but then they had a, uh, the pol- the helicopter out there all like that, and all them cars, just because he ran, I don't know. Something don't seem right. Do that seem right? They're going to do a perimeter. Okay, just think about it. Average person, you know, on your block in the hood, they run from the police. Are they about to have helicopters and perimeters and dogs and all that? Is it because he's a celebrity? Is that something his lawyers might be able to use and say, this is like a, a celebrity witch hunt because he, his celebrity, y'all want to uh, do this and y'all have been messing with him? Can they use that? You know, was it something else that they not telling us? Maybe this much information got leaked. This, this is as much they they want out there, or maybe TMZ leaked leaked it first, and you know they weren't supposed to put everything out. Maybe it's something more. You know, people saying, "Oh, it ain't gonna be no Rico case. He's gonna have five to ten years, maybe." And but we don't know. They already got him for all them guns and all them people that got arrested with him that he bailed out. They all people you know can connect and say through his music and his songs that they gang members okay they saying there was drugs involved manufacturing not just distribution manufacturing i think ben 10 he down that's part of his charge of you know distribution and stuff so you know he connected to young boy all them dudes that got arrested you know other people that's in jail already. I'm not gonna go into saying them and they name different stuff they in there for, but they they all connected to young boy. So different stuff they did that they in there for can be considered under you know what it is to have a, a Rico charge. So I know a lot of y'all are saying, well, you know, he just gonna you know it ain't no Rico. Charge even even one of the lawyers that be on uh, Instagram now OTC live I think he was calling this guy Kodak uh, black lawyer I don't know if he was seeing him or he just showed the video footage of him but this guy let me see let me find this video this guy definitely is not a uh, Kodak uh, lawyer um let's see I think I saw this one managing tasks problem solving. Organizing data. Let's go, let's go. That like button and that notification bell, it really helps my videos get recommended. So if y'all watch my previous video or if you've been on social media, you already know that YB ended up getting caught by the feds. It was like helicopters, it was a whole bunch of police cars. A lot of people were saying like, you know, he got five stars in real life. So the thing that everybody did know was, you know, he ended up running from the police. There was a gun in the car. Nobody really knew, you know, who it was, but everybody was trying to figure out what was his warrant for. So the warrant was for gun possession. So they were saying like, you know, back in, you know, with a music video when they found all of them guns and stuff like that and they was asking for his money back and the thing is he really messed himself up by running from the police you know that made it even worse but you know kodak lawyer ended up you know getting involved in you know speaking about it because a lot of people was wondering you know what his input was because kodak you know went through the same situation with the gun possession so kodak lawyer was just saying if it's just like you know the gun possession charge alone you know they got a lot of evidence you know pertaining to it so it's like really no way of kind of getting out of it it's just you know a matter of trying to reduce the sentence and the only reason kodak that lawyer was saying that was because if you know the now is that Kodak lawyer because that's kind of weird like I don't know if all these lawyers just want to like you know kind of become more famous for the clout or just to get more clients or what but it's kind of knowing kind of the tension between Kodak and NBA young boy why would he be even speaking on it and um you know or maybe he's just looking at it like this is another young black male. But um, I saw this video earlier. 
and he was saying Kodak Glory is going to be on NBA Youngboy in case something like that. That's all seem weird. But the lawyer he showed is definitely not Kodak Lawyer. It's a dude that called uh, Lawyers for Workers. Um, and he pretty much he be defending people who have cases to where they're not getting paid, like, you know, minimum wage and, you know, coronavirus pay and, and you know, they're not getting any breaks at work and stuff like that. But he, he just happened to be speaking on other little cases like that goes on with the entertainment business Kids get something know you then it's concrete so you know it's like no fighting it the only thing you can do is you know try to reduce your sentence and if it had ended up being a rico that mean they got people like talking and stuff like that usually they have witnesses and then they have like a lot of you know evidence so they try to build a case and you know they've probably been doing this for a long time but you know the good thing for nba young boy it wasn't a rico and it was just a you know possession of a firearm he didn't get hit with the rico he's getting hit with felon in possession of a firearm this dates back to the music video he's going to be facing five to ten years NBA young boy go hire Kodak Black's lawyer it was the exact same charge that guy knows what he's doing update on young boy he's facing felon in possession of a firearm charge that carries with it a max sentence of between five and ten years he didn't get hit with the Rico charge this charge however is very serious he has priors and when they tried to arrest him he ran and they found the gun in the car that he ran from not good I'm hoping if YB now I don't know if that's the official you know information that's what you know what that lawyer reporting that's not Kodak Black Lawyer, so I got that confused. Um, he was saying that young boy needs to hire Kodak Black Lawyer. The, um, now, Kodak Black was speaking about young boy, and he he was just saying, like, I guess responding to the fans, saying, no, nah, I ain't happy that he uh, locked up. He was once my my little, uh, my little, my little brother or something like that. Like, like no, nah, like, I don't, you know, I don't wish that. Like, why would I be happy? So... If they, if that was actually Kodak Black lawyer, uh, putting that post out, speaking on it, and maybe Kodak got to be cordial, you know, just so you know, if if his lawyer want to get that client, you know, it's kind of weird though, you know, the this the stuff that he was going through, and then his lawyers, you know, I don't know if they can just keep it business or Kodak could be like influence his lawyer not to try to take the case, but anyway, so this that that lawyer that's on Instagram, he was saying that Kodak Black and Young Boy case was kind of the same, but it's a little, still a little different because first of all, you had Trump to pardon him. So so you know that helped. Young boy not gonna have that. Then Young Boy also he ran, they're gonna try to add that up. This this is the thing though. Like they want Young Boy though. Like they, they they want them under the jail, and so it ain't going to be the same, even if it was the same. They're going to make it worse. Now, you know, he could say he ran because he was scared or whatever. He, he, he didn't want, uh, whatever. He, he can make up a reason why he ran. He, he, he didn't know what it was. He didn't know he had a warrant. He, uh, didn't want to engage in, with, with some officers by himself. He was scared of anything, but at the end of the day, any and everything he do is going to be added up and trumped up on him. You know, we don't even know who the gun was. I'm assuming it was, like, it got to be put on him because I'm still not hearing about nobody else that was in the car with him that ran or anything. But just like I was saying, just like OTC Live said on here, that, you know, as far as Rico, maybe somebody telling, and, you know, like, it just seeming fishy. It's seeming a little odd. It's seeming like somebody telling, somebody doing something. Because how do they know how to be tracking them and just to be prepared like that? To be prepared with a perimeter? Like, they had to be prepared. There's it's no way that they just had that ready to go. They did a traffic stop. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, he had a warrant. You know, we're going to pull him over. But we just prepared to have all these cars to set a perimeter. K K9 unit out. The helicopter up in the air. We just prepared for this. Like y'all, they might have been stalking him, anticipating that. Like maybe, like I say, maybe it's something else that they not seeing that they got on them. Maybe somebody snitched, but they don't want to reveal the information of the. That's what it got to be. They don't want to reveal the information of the snitch because at that point they didn't have, you know, they didn't have young boys, so they was trying to like set the perimeter, and so maybe. People was on on scene, TMZ, something. They got the information, so they say uh, 
you know, it was a warrant and, you know, it was a gun in the car. But maybe it's some other information they're not putting out that that they're going to really try to nail them, nail them, you know, to the floor with. Um, and maybe it's something that somebody told, either somebody infiltrated the clique or somebody that's with the clique that told. And, you know, I'm not, I'm just saying this alleged. I'm not saying nobody told, but. This is just what I'm what I'm feeling like. How they how they would even know they had a scoop on them like that, you know, they had to drop on them like that, and to um uh, to be prepared like they got some evidence of something he did or he, he's doing that he really need to be brought in, like because they were saying we're gonna release the dog, and so pretty much it's all on you what the dog do, and just because he got a warrant, you know, because he had a gun, he been had that gun, he you know. That gun charge, he, you know, if he had a warrant, he been like that, and that's another thing. Like he didn't been to court and stuff for that case, and they gave him his his money back and, and stuff like that. Jury, and they said he have a warrant. Like, like how do you have a warrant? Because he didn't went to court for it. Like he got released, and then he went back to court to get his, you know, his money and stuff back. At what point did he have a warrant? Like. Like they got, he got a warrant after the fact that they said he was good until uh, it's time to go back to court. I mean, they didn't say that he failed to show up to court and then it resulted in a bench warrant. They just sent a warrant for the gun, and that don't make any sense because he already got booked for the gun. He paid, he got out, got his people out. Then he had to go back to court to get his stuff back, his money and stuff. So that don't even seem like I, now it seems like they 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 lying about the story. I think somebody do some sort in the game. I think somebody saying something, somebody telling, and they don't want to reveal the person because if they say what, you know, what it is that he's doing, like they might be able to figure out who telling. And so I think they just giving us, feeding us what we want to know. And I think TMZ work with them anyway. So TMZ going to put out what they want them to, to know or whatever. TMZ definitely police, like I've been saying all this time. Um, they got too much access and footage and too many people around to get this stuff, you know, um, and so, yeah, I think it seemed, it seemed fishy like somebody might be telling and they trying to cover it up, not to reveal it yet until they really nail him and get him because, you know, he like, he always like squirming his way out of something. Either people like take the charge, you know, or he pays way out or something. But they trying to get something to nail probably before they really reveal what it really is, why they really on him like that. But they was really on him. Like he like he just like, you know, a real crime boss, like he didn't got well, how about say multiple uh bodies and multiple hits, but hey, I, hey that's just kinda what anyway, we ain't gonna go there. But that was they was kind of doing a lot just to just to stop somebody who had a warrant. I mean, y'all get in the comment, y'all like I really need to know this. How do y'all think that he has a warrant?